This video has been a long time coming as I've been using TubeBuddy and vidIQ to help grow my YouTube channel for several years now. And these two heavyweights have been battling it out for my money since day one and I can safely say that today there has been a clear cut winner and that's TubeBuddy. So with that being said, be sure to stay to the end where I give you the one feature that makes it absolutely worth it to go with TubeBuddy over vidIQ. So if you've been on the fence, this one feature alone is going to push you off that fence into TubeBuddy. Hey, it's Jaime. If you're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Okay, so let's reset for a quick second. What is TubeBuddy and what is vidIQ? Both of them are extensions that are absolutely free for you to use to help grow your YouTube channel. Now, the fact that they're both free is absolutely a great thing. However, they both have paid plans that you have to pay for monthly. And depending on which one you go with depends on the amount of features that get unlocked. And I can safely say that from day one that I started doing YouTube, I have been a paid member of either vidIQ or TubeBuddy. And full disclosure, I've been with TubeBuddy for the longest time between vidIQ and TubeBuddy. Now, I did do a switch from TubeBuddy over to vidIQ and paid for the highest tier plan over there for several months as I was piloting it out and seeing what it was about. And the experience that I had with vidIQ was absolutely great. However, it didn't stack up to my experience with TubeBuddy, not only from an experience standpoint, but also from the results. Now the experience with vidIQ while I was under the paid plan with them was great. However, it doesn't stack up to TubeBuddy. So I ended up coming back to TubeBuddy and I don't plan to leave it anytime soon. So let's get into the main reasons that I selected TubeBuddy over vidIQ. The first one is the keyword scores. They both share the search volume and competition of the keywords that you input, but I really like the interface that TubeBuddy has over vidIQ. Now, when it comes to accuracy of the keyword scores, there's really not much that I can speak to because that is really a subjective thing that both vidIQ and TubeBuddy produce but I can say that whenever I was tracking on my spreadsheet, it just seemed that the TubeBuddy scores fared out a little bit better whenever I published my videos. So that means that my videos perform better whenever I took the suggestions of TubeBuddy over vidIQ, especially when I was going after some highly competitive keywords. And another reason that I selected TubeBuddy over vidIQ is because of the bulk actions that are available with TubeBuddy. I can make adjustments to my descriptions, to my cards, to my in screens on all of my videos on YouTube within minutes. That's right, I can make bulk edits to my videos whenever I add affiliates or take away affiliates, whenever I introduce a course or take away a course, I can do all of that in minutes without spending hours going into every single video and updating manually. And those type of bulk action features are not available with vidIQ, unfortunately, not from the free plan and nor from the paid plan. And another reason that I selected TubeBuddy over vidIQ is because of the suggested tags. TubeBuddy makes it incredibly easy to select tags that are relevant to my video. And to be honest, this wasn't a huge deal for me considering that tags don't have the weight that they used to back in the day, but it's still pretty important. I do want to max out the 500 characters in tags on every single video and TubeBuddy just made it absolutely easy to do that. And the next huge differentiator for me with TubeBuddy was the keyword explorer. The keyword explorer helped me title my videos better, which means that I was able to rank my videos a lot easier than with vidIQ. Because the keyword explorer gives you a good sense of the strength of your title. So you can play around with titling your video several different things and see how it's gonna stack in YouTube world. And as you know, the title is incredibly important in order to get more views and to get ranked on YouTube search. Hey, one quick second, I'll let you get right back to the video. Would you mind going down to the bottom of this video and smashing like? Thanks. And the one feature that makes TubeBuddy absolutely worth it over vidIQ and any other extension that you can think of is the AB testing with your thumbnails. It automates your thumbnail split testing without minimal effort on your part. That is fantastic. It saves you so much time and it gives you so many views. Because think about it, you can be split testing as many videos as you want 
and only select the winners, the winners that have a higher click-through rate. So that means that you're gonna get more views because whether you're monetized or not monetized, getting more views on YouTube is where it's at. So that's why I selected TubeBuddy because it gives me this one feature that makes it absolutely worth it. Now, if you're interested in TubeBuddy, I'll link it down below so you can take a look for yourself. And remember, they have free plans. You don't have to go the paid route if you don't want to. Now, here's the thing. I'm not doing away with vidIQ whatsoever. I'm still going to use vidIQ because there is some functionality that I like over to buddy, but I'm just not willing to pay them a monthly premium to use it. And you can certainly do the same thing with your channel. You can use both extensions. It's not going to harm anything. And if you want to pay vidIQ per month or to buddy per month or none of them, that's up to you. Now I'm sure there's a ton of features that I left out, but this was not designed to be a comprehensive pro and cons list for vidIQ or TubeBuddy, this was just giving you the main reasons that I selected to go with TubeBuddy for the long run. Well, now that you know why I selected TubeBuddy over vidIQ, you might be interested in learning how to actually do the A-B testing with thumbnails. So I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make it your best day yet.